What is happening? Stock splits are the new SPAC mergers apparently. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about everything that's going on in the market and about the stock splits that are going around. We saw two in 2020, one in 2021, and it's only March 2022 and we're already seeing two companies announcing stock splits and that's something that I want to talk with you guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome, please consider subscribing and smashing that like button because it really, really helps the channel out. But let's get started. First of all, we can see that at this moment, 10.90 a.m., the Dow Jones is up 0.48%, the S&P 500 0.08%, but the Nasdaq is down 0.37%. Still, surprisingly, the Russell 2000 is up 0.13% at this moment. Now, when we check the oil, the oil is up 1.79% today, even though we saw that huge drop in the past days we, we thought that that was going to continue but apparently it's not like that but then we see the u.s 10-year treasury deal that it is at two percent at this moment and we know what happens in the stock market when that happens as we have seen this before in february and also in january and the stocks basically crashed but now Yesterday, we had the CPI or inflation report and we can see that they announced on February an inflation of 0.8% in comparison to past month, which obviously had a huge spike in comparison to January, even though it was decreasing since October and basically grew from 0.6% to 0.8%. On a yearly basis, we can see that all items are up 7.9%, a little higher than what was expected, but still all items less food and energy was 6.4% just like estimates but we can see that very very that energy went up massively 3.5% in February not as high as December or November but just something like October 2021 and we thought that we were not going to see this again but still it's up 25.6% in the past year and the same thing with gas you can see that gas is up 38% year over year and 6.6% in February. I've been seeing a lot of stories in Instagram, a lot of people posting about the gas prices at this moment in Miami, in Jacksonville, in Texas and more. And let me tell you that it's really expensive. I was basically trying to calculate how much money I needed to spend in my car when, as, when I used to live in the US. I used to spend about 30 or 40 dollars every 15 days to put gas on my car and now with this huge spike I would need about 80 to 90 dollars every 15 days and obviously that is a huge increase because that would not let me spend more money basically on other things that I would like as I would prefer to put gas to my car and buy food instead of other things and that is what is mainly affecting companies nowadays along with inflation. Also we were talking last month about the shelter as when it went up 0.3% and we were actually surprised but and now this month went up 0.5%. It is up 4.7% in the past year. And that is something concerning as well with the transportation and services, which both, both were not going up that much in the past year. But we can see that went up 1.4% in the past month and 6.6% year over year. And this might be basically because over other than inflation, we are seeing gas prices spike. Now, we do have to say that as this article says, inflation is coming in hot, but the reality is there are no real surprise in this report. The market likely already priced the inflation increase in accordingly and is instead in intently focused in Ukraine and the downstream impact from commodities, which are already sending sho shock waves through the market, which is what I've been saying. The market is mainly focused right now in Ukraine. People apparently forgot about inflation, gas prices, the Fed increases rate, uh, interest rates and more at the same moment that the war started in Ukraine and Russia. And that's obviously that was obviously going to happen, but we do have to take into consideration that those things are still affecting the economy and the market as well. Because if the war were to start today, were to end today, we still have the Fed meeting in five days. And that is something that could affect the market as they are going to talk about the interest rates and how much they're going to go up in the coming months. And that is something to take into consideration. Russia's Putin hints at progress in Ukraine talks, but Moscow widens attacks to new cities. So as I said, this is currently affecting the market, but still we need to focus on other things as well. Now, on another note, on a better note, 
we can see that Amazon announces a 20 for one stock split and a 10 billion buyback. I have to say that even though 10 billion buyback sounds like huge, we have to take into consideration that Amazon is a $1.49 trillion company. So $10 billion is not that much of a deal for Amazon, but still it's good news that they are announcing a 20 for one stock split. I have to say that as, as I said with Apple, with Tesla and with Google, this is not going to change the fundamentals of the company. This is just going to make, make it more accessible for people that are not able to buy fractional shares and we and I have been wanting to invest in stocks like Amazon or Google as we saw that Google announced a stock split as well. Now it's the first split since 1999 and the fourth since Amazon's IPO in 1997. I have to say that I read a tweet about someone that said that when an app Amazon announced a split in 1999 the stock went down 80% the next year but we do have to take into consideration that the next year was 2000 and we were in the dot-com bubble so that is not a good representation of what is going to happen with Amazon with this stock split because the situation was completely different. Now after that yesterday the stock went up about 5.76% and it's still up 5.8%. It is at $2,948 when it was at about $2,700 or even $600 in the past week. I have been saying that this is something that I've been waiting for this company to do because this will bring more volatility to the stock and also because I would like to um, trade options and now with this stock split options will be a little bit more affordable after the stock split which will also bring more investors into the company. Now I do have to say that this stock split is not going to change anything or benefit the company fundamentally. It might benefit the stock in the long term, as I said, as it had happened with other companies, but not fundamentally. The stock, the company is still going to be worth $1.4 trillion. But as if we see here, Google announced a stock split, 20 for one stock split, just like Amazon on February 1st. And we can see that the stock actually went up massively. It went up almost 10% after they announced that. But since then, the stock has been dropping over 10%. Obviously, we are in a current situation that the stock market is not doing well. We are in a war, high inflation, gas prices, Fed meetings, interest rates, and all that. But we can see that the stock is still down since then. Then if we check Apple, that was in 2020, they announced a stock 441 stock split on July 30, 2020. As we can see here, the stock on July 30, it went up 17% until August 21. The stock, please, the stock split occurred on August 28, so before the stock split it is Apple stock went down 14 almost 15 percent then we can see that Tesla also announced a stock split the stock went up as well we can see that the stock went up 41 percent between 7 August 7 and August 21st as they announced a the stock split and stock split on August 10 but before the stock split as well the stock went down 14% as we can see, 15.80% as we can see here, just the very same, same day that the stock split happened. With this, I'm not saying that Amazon is going to skyrocket and then crash the day that the stock split is, but I want to say with this is that you should not invest in Amazon only because of the stock split. If you're investing in Amazon, you are investing because of their business, because of their e-commerce business, because of the uh, cloud business, because of their growth, their diversification, their innovation, and more. Not only because of the stock split, as I know that many of you are wondering right now if it is a good time to invest in, um, in Amazon. I have to say that you have to take into consideration other things from a company and do a fundamental analysis, not only focus on this stock split. I do understand that many traders are basically focusing on this as they will most likely ride the wave as they did with Apple and Tesla and Google, but as a long-term investor, I would not invest in this stock just because of the split. I would like to know what you think about this split if you're investing in Amazon right now or if you are, or if you are waiting for them to do the split and then invest. Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please smash the like button and subscribe. I will leave you here a video recommended by YouTube and here for you to subscribe. Thank you and see you next time.